receiving a standing ovation here. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Play it. The Cubs win the World Series! Bryan makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7 and 10! Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first! The Cubs are going to the World Series! The Cubs win the pennant! The pitch and a high drive hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. With the Gateway Arch welcoming us in the background to look at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the New York Mets and the St. Louis Cardinals. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. Adam Wainwright, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's putting together an outstanding season on the mound. I mean, anytime you have an ERA in the low threes, you've had a solid year. He's taking care of his own business. He's pitching deep in game and giving his team a chance to win every time he goes out. And I think the same will be today. He's going to give them an opportunity to win this game because he'll pitch well. Now at the plate, Curtis Granderson. He's a long ball threat, of course, currently number four in the National League home run race. One and one, here it comes. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Harold Reynolds, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Matt, this has been one of those up and down teams. They lost the last game, put them at 500. Everybody wants to play above 500 baseball. Maybe they'll be motivated by that alone. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Batting third, the left fielder number 52. Here's Yohannes Cespedes. Yohannes Cespedes. And as Cespedes. you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. The 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball as this runs in on him and he has to step out of the way that time. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Fowler has a read on it. He's got it and there are two down now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting four. Striding into the center box. Fielder. Michael Conforto. Michael. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. 
And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, sometimes you got to just get lucky. He got out in front, hooked it, and just found a hole. Striding forward, David Wright. And he's a guy that's really scuffling at the plate right now. Two men are on with two men out. Two and two now. Ready with the two and two. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Cabrera rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run will score as the Mets have claimed the early 1-0 advantage. Two out, two strikes, down to the last exactly. strike of the inning, First and he's able to hang in there 21. and drive the ball Lopez. for a base hit. Good Dude, job of battling right there. Into the box now, Lucas Duda. In the dirt that time, but a good block there by Molina to keep it close. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. That's a ball. And a fastball just a bit high. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And a 2 2 sinker falls in there. Three and two now. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Hard on the ground towards short. Diaz scoops it up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Mets play to run on a couple of hits. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Mets one. The Cardinals coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. HR, what's the word on him? Well, if you look at his whip, he's having a pretty effective season. He's keeping runners off the base path. He's not giving up a lot of runs, and he's giving his team a chance to win. If he does that same formula in this game, they may walk out of here with the W. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. One and two, here it comes. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Now a moment here in St. Louis to look at the Cardinals starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Yeah, Matt, I think everyone should keep an eye on Colton Wong. He's having a solid year. With runners in scoring position, he's hitting over 300. That's not outstanding or anything, but he's consistent, and that's what I love watching about this guy. His game is so consistent. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Swing and a liner. Foul. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, two gone. Batting third, first baseman. Here's Matt Carpenter, and as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit hard back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. It's on to inning number two now in St. Louis. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Now to the plate, Wilmer Flores. He'll be in there to start things out against Adam Wainwright. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Well hit to right. But foul. Full count. Here it comes. 
Line drive to left. Pham has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Cardinals. At second base, Colton Wong. What I love about his game is he's fearless on the pivot. He will hang in there, take a hit, and still get rid of the ball. Nice arm and has good arm strength that allows him to hang around that base a little bit longer than most. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. His career line against Wainwright, he's gone two for five. The one two from Wainwright. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Coming to the plate now, Steven Matz. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One and one, here it comes. Hold high in the air out to left field. Moving under it, Pham. And that's the third out. A scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright. And his club's keeping it close. It's one nothing. Here's Jed Jerko now. Right at $2.30 with the batting average coming into this one. So it's mostly been a struggle for him. And he looks at one in there, one and two. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have And that is off the first base bag. He dives, but he can't pull it in, and it's down the line into right. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Change up stayed low that time for ball three. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You've got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Jarno. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. Oh, he missed that pitch. I'll tell you what, as the pitcher, he's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart if you see a ball in the zone that long, get called a ball on it. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Set to deal on two and two. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Well, he comes up with a big RBI single right there, and now we're starting all over. Right where we started, tie ball again. In now, Yadier Molina. A fastball that just misses inside. This is line to left. Cespedes is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting eight. Stepping up now, Tommy Pham. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Three and one, here it is. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds. We'll go now to the top of the third, all tied at one and one. In is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wainwright ready, the 1-1. One, one. 
sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And that one right down Main Street. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Fly ball out toward left center field. Pham moves over. He's got it one away. The shortstop number 13. And so with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is fouled at the plate. Here's another one two. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and he makes the throw to first. Cabrera is retired two down now. Here's the left fielder Ioannis Cespedes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 2 and 1 now to Cespedes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. But one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to Up throw, for the throw it over for a strike. Center fielder, Michael Conforto. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Michael Conforto. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Rip down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. A little two out rally going on right now back to back base hits and now you're running the first and third and let's see maybe they'll try to steal a run here and there's a lot of things that still happen with two outs in the inning. Standing in now David Wright tough one to lay off called a strike runners at the corners two men out. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Matt, this is a big pitch right here. They're putting together a nice little small rally. He's got to throw a strike right here and make him swing the bat. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Diaz ranging into the outfield. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets leave him loaded. After two and a half, it remains a 1-1 ball game. Now at the plate, Adam Wainwright. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And there's ball two now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Hit on the ground to short. Cabrera's up with it. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. 
now batting. Striding in once again, Olympus Diaz. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here's the one and one pitch. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. Slapped hard the opposite way. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Around first, he's digging for second. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay, the tag, and he's called out trying to stretch two bases into three. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. Stepping in now, Dexter Fowler. Now a hard liner, but foul. Grounded down the third baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. He executed that one-two curveball pretty well. I think that's right where he wanted it to end up, but he couldn't get him to chase at it. We'll see what they go with now after that didn't work out. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Line towards center field. Conforto will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Digging in to try it again, Wilmer Flores. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Yeah. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And to this point, these two have topped out at 95 and 91 miles an hour, respectively. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line for working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt and now he has to find the zone Up on a 3 2 pitch. Petra. Digging in for his Matt. second at bat, Stephen Matz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One run, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Wait. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. Yeah. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Now a bunt attempt here. And they'll just tag him out along the first base line. The right so coming to the plate, Curtis, Curtis Granderson. Granderson. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And this ball runs away for ball 2. 2 and 1. One run, four hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. Smoke toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they the didn't like Robert their chances team. there. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Here's the 1 1. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus on making some good pitches. This is on the ground over to first. 
And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. On to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the TCU product Matt Carpenter is the first to bat in the inning. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Third baseman, number three. Trying to pick things Jed. up where we left Jed off, go. Jed Jerko. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Breaking ball, called third strike as that catches the zone for out number two. Now batting, right fielder. Digging in, Stephen Piscotti. He flew out in his last at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Squared that one up just a little late. On the 3 2 is lined in the left field, a base hit. That's an impressive swing on a tough pitch, a sinker from a right handed pitcher going Second into the right handed batter, 16. and he's able to get the bat head out and hit it in the oh. left field. That was really cool. Into the box, Colton Wong. He swings and grounds it to short, taken there by Cabrera. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Digging in once again, Joanna Cespedes. A hit in two tries so far. And a 2-2 sinker falls in there. Three and two now really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah it really does Matt but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first out. Now batting. That's not a hit. Ready once again Michael Conforto. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Bases are empty one man out. Now a cut oh, fastball that back. almost had a little too much cut as it nearly ran in and got him. What makes hitting so difficult is covering both sides of the plate. And that hard pitch right there that was inside makes it awfully tough now to cover both the inside and the outside part of the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. It was a walk in his last trip. Two out, nobody on. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hard hit ball to second, taken in by Wong. Pro on to Carpenter gets him, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Ready for another chance? Yadier Molina. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 3 0 pitch on its way. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Granderson is under it. He's got it one away. Now batting. So stepping in, Tommy Pham comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One out, nobody on. And this one's up around the eyes, 2 and 1. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. 
That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. In now, Adam Wainwright, but a quick glove at third, and there are two gone. The batter, the shortstop. And that'll bring up Olegmus Diaz. Diaz. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Nope to two balls and two strikes now. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in. But that plane right there, quality take. That's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. On a great throw from Granderson. They got him at the plate. Large lead one. We played five full, tied at one aside. Here's Lucas Duda now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both the lefty and a right-hander have stood up. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Bases are empty, one man out. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Molina gathers, and he makes the throw to first. Flores is retired. Two down now. Ready once again. Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Wainwright ready. The 1-1. One, one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Hey. Nip the corner. Two and two. Two ball, two strike. This now is hit to second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now if the side is retired. Dexter Fowler will be the one to lead it off when we come back. All tied at one and one. Here's Dexter Fowler now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Right on the corner, two and two. Set to deal on two and two. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the board, so both of these starters should feel really good about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. Here's Matt Carpenter. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Carpenter is retired. Two down now. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. 
Now the pitch. Oh, and he missed with a breaking ball up there, and that's a mistake he won't get away with as this ball is long gone. It's a solo shot here for Jed Jerko. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Cardinals take a 2 to 1 lead. pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand but guess what there are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball that's a mistake and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it standing in now Stephen Piscotti very weakly on the ground throw on to first gets him and the side is retired one for the Cardinals in the inning on the solo home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh. It's now two to one St. Louis. Welcome back to Bush Stadium here in St. Louis. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top and it's time to check out the game summary to see how we got here. Jose Reyes will pinch hit pinch here, and he's Morgan the potential York. tying run. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Hit hard but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. The three two one more time. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Another payoff pitch. Line drive to center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So with that the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Now that's a big right base hit. Late in the three. game you're down Curtis one you got the Randerson. leadoff guy on now. The rest of the way it'll be interesting to me how they're going to manufacture. Will they bunt him over to move him into the scoring position. Will they hit a gapper. Let's see how they score this run. They can possibly push him forward. There goes Cardinal manager Mike Matheny on his way out to the mound. And that is going to do it this afternoon for Adam Wainwright. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Kevin Segrist takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Curtis Granderson will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with a runner at first and nobody out. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right handers up and warming. Working for the punch out and the offering and he missed with it ball four so that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Yeah that strategy is great when it works but when it doesn't it's ugly and he was here to face one guy and he couldn't get it done. Ready for another chance as Drupal Cabrera over two with a walk for him so far. Oh, and a huge strike out there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Into the box now. Yoenis Cespedes. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Pretty standard pitch sequence right there. Just how you draw it up in a perfect world. Jump ahead 0 and 2 and then you toss a change up in the dirt to get him a chase for a strikeout on three pitches. If only it were always that easy. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left hander has begun to get loose. Hit out towards second. 
on the first and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning two left for the Mets our score remains two to one. Fernando Salas gets the call now from the pen the to take over on the mound Number and start 59. the home seventh. Fernando Salas. Colton Wong will stand in. One for two on his line so far in the game. One and one, here it is. Sent on the ground out to second. Flores is there, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Number four. Here's the catcher Yadier Molina. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready on 3 and 1. Here it comes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Ready for another Tommy shot now. Pham. Tommy Pham. He doubled earlier in the game. 1 for 2 to this point. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. He's set and the one-two pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Again a one-two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Cardinals two and the Mets one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your Zach Duke play. will come on to pitch These now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Rendell Gritcher will also come Zach on now as Duke. he'll move into the pitcher's now number nine David hold in the order the here on that double number switch. 15. Randall digging in to try it again. David Wright. He's one for two in the ball game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Okay. He's set. Here comes the one one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. The 2 2 now to right. Hit to third. Jerko fields it cleanly. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. First baseman number 20. Well, look there at the numbers for our two starters here today, with both guys recently departed from the ball game and looking on from the dugout. Here's Lucas Duda now. Lifetime numbers against Zach Duke. One for five. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. He got away with one right there. Here he comes again. One two. A little bouncer. Throw will take care of him at first. Good start to the inning for Duke and that's out number two. A look there at our line score as we play the eighth inning here at Bush. Cardinals out in front as they look to try and hang on in front of the home crowd. Striding in once again, Wilmer Flores. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Look into Molina. Now the 1-1. One, one. Leaves a change up high for a strike. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And a neck-high fastball that time. Here's the pitch on two and two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Down in order go the Mets. They're down 2-1. Now in the box, Randall Gritcher. 
And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. To short. Cabrera's there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting. I'm digging in once again. Aledmus Diaz. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Here it comes on one and one. And he just misses with a curveball. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Right at third. Oh, and Cabrera bobbles it. And he will not have time to recover it short. That's an infield single. Uh -oh, what a play. Now, you got to rule out a base hit, but man, the shortstop made a great effort on that just to knock the ball down. But that's going to be ruled a hit, no doubt about it. Digging in the switch hitter, Dexter Fowler. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. Lifted into center field. Conforto giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Standing in, Matt Carpenter. He'll have to bounce back after striking out his last time up. He's running towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The and he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. That they're unable to add to their 2-1 to one lead. Sun Juan O comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Jay Bruce will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Can't do much with that one. It's one and two. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. On the ground up the middle. Throw on to first and the Mets are down to their final out. Number three. Now with the plate, Curtis Granderson. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to two and two now. Again, he sends it out of play. 43,975 fans on their feet now here in St. Louis. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing. So I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Into the box as Drupal Cabrera pulled toward right center field. Fowler on the run. 
And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Pitching and defense game, 2-1, to one, the final score this afternoon. Adam Wainwright earned his ninth win of the year. Steven Matz pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Soon Juan O wraps it up for the save, his 22nd. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. for this afternoon first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals two runs on eight hits no errors Drake delivers as a drive to right field hit deep back by the bullpen gate it goes and it is gone Stubbs the right field that jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380 foot marker David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run 10-2 Red Sox. 10th inning, 3-3.